Welcome back. This is the Bookkeeping Master from freebookkeepingaccounting.com. Welcome to another video in this QuickBooks Online tutorial. In the last video, I showed you how to add your company information. We'll now go through the rest of these tabs and I'll explain them to you. So this next one, we have our billing and subscription. This tells you your current subscription with QuickBooks. You can upgrade it. There's other information like the company ID that you may need if you contact QuickBooks. You then have a sales tab. Now these sales and expenses tabs are your default, the default settings for QuickBooks when raising sales invoices, raising statements and those sort of things. So up here you have customize. It says customize look and feel. So this is the sales tab and these are your sales invoices. If you click edit, you can edit the layout of your sales invoices, what they look like. So you can see there's a logo here and there's other company information. This is all being drawn from that information I entered from the previous video under that company tab. So you see it's all being brought across. But you can edit these invoices such as the content. If you click, you can make changes here. Emails, payments, you can add payment details, the actual design of the invoice. And there are different layouts and things that you can choose. I'm not going to spend too much time going through this. It's all pretty self-explanatory. I think you just need to take your own time to change the color, change the layout, change the information until you get something that you like. You can print out these dummy invoices. So it says when in doubt, print it out. You can print it out, see what it looks like, and then make necessary changes. I might add a video later on in this series, perhaps like a miscellaneous series, that goes into a bit more detail about editing these documents. But like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just use the tabs and click on the buttons. Once you're done, just click done, and it will save any changes you've made to the document. So let's go back to that sales tab. So the gear, accounts and settings, sales. I clicked on this to change the sales invoice. We also have other information here that we can manipulate, other defaults that we can change. So preferred invoice terms, that's set at net 30. Let's say our business was actually net 15. We can just change that there and click save. So every time an invoice is raised, the default is net 15. It just saves you a bit of time later on editing the payment terms each time you raise an invoice. There's also preferred delivery method. You can add that. Shipping, you could add that onto an invoice by default. It's off by default because I'm guessing a lot, most businesses don't need to add shipping to their invoices, but you may need to. So you can just go in there and click that. Service date, discount, deposit, lots of other things. And then we have other options here. Same sort of thing, but this time about products and services. These are all defaults. Messages, so a default email message sent with sales forms. So you can add a message in this box and when you email an invoice from QuickBooks, it will be the default email that shows. So you may want to click on this and add something like, here is your invoice. We appreciate your prompt payment. Thank you for your business, Essex Business Services. You may want to edit that slightly. If you do, just edit the message and then click save. And then when you email an invoice, that will all show on that invoice. And then there are some other default settings that you can change. So just to recap, because I understand I'm going through this pretty quickly and I don't want to confuse anybody. All we're doing is setting up the business to begin with by going to the gear at the top here going to account and settings under your company. We've changed the logo. We've added business information under billing and subscription. You can upgrade your package. You also have your company ID, which is useful when contacting QuickBooks online. And then we've had a look at these sales defaults, this sales tab. In the next video, we'll have a look at expenses and advanced 
and then we're actually looking to using the software to account for the business. 